I think I may have figured out what the problem is. Hi, right, and welcome back. Uh, I think today we uh, got some daylight and it's really nice outside. It's probably about 70 degrees. Uh, this morning it was uh, pretty cold and had frost on the windshield. That's how, how it goes in Oklahoma. You freeze in the morning, hot in the afternoon. But I think uh, kind of do it a little bit different today. I'm going to put the battery in the Camaro and then I'll take you on the ride in the Camaro so you can kind of hear what the sounds I'm hearing with the I think the back windshield is popping and such. And then uh, after that, take a closer look at the Bronco, which I may take you over there here in a minute and show you what I plan on doing. But uh, one of the measurements I took wasn't exactly in the right spot. So uh, I'll retake those measurements. And then I had my uncle in law come over and look at it and he uh, suggested that I use the Clark welder on the slow, uh, slowest setting and get smaller gauge flux core wire and maybe turn the voltage up to high. But he said, I'm going to have to mess with it and, and get it just right. But uh, he said he'd probably blow through it too, uh, just south end the metal is. But and two, he gave me a suggestion on how to deal with the uh, floor pan issue. And I may, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do and kind of maybe work on that a little bit too after we uh, take around the Camaro. But uh, let's go ahead and put the battery in the Camaro and get it started up and get it ready to go on. Uh, my daughter may or may not come along for the ride, but I'm gonna warn you, he'll be uh, kind of loud in there not really good any soundproofing in it so but I just want to see if it get y'all's opinion on what the cracking and stuff when I hit a bump is and such anyways let's uh, open the garage door and head outside with me and Abigail. She likes to ride in daddy's car, don't you? Yeah? I'll have to look over this way because of this stuff. So we'll just go up and down the road for a minute, okay?
daddy say for you? Film this and get a thumbs up. Not a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up for you, people. <laughs> so what do you think of the car? And it's blue and it's fast. Yeah. You get a thumbs up from that. You got fuzz on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll say bye. That's not for me <laughs> and my daddy. Yeah. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I didn't expect her to be as vocal as she was, but she really enjoys uh, old cars and stuff. But uh, yeah, it really surprised me how much she was talking. <laughs> but uh, if you didn't, if you couldn't hear, it feels like my back windshield's kind of grinding when I hit bumps and stuff and uh, I need power steering fluid like really bad. I actually started smoking a little bit. I think it's leaking oil. I don't know where at but it's uh, thinking of something because it is smoking when I come back in here but uh, anyways I'm kind of glad we got to do that today. I'll be the last day we get to uh, drive it before it gets too cold because we're supposed to have snow I think next week here in Oklahoma but anyways uh, yeah I was, I was just surprised how how vocal she was and I told her what, what I was doing and she didn't wasn't scared so maybe I'll have her out here help me some some videos or something but anyways let's uh, jump back to the Bronco and I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing and on this pan here uh, so I should go ahead and put my bushing back in. Take these screws out here, leave this one in, and try to hammer this down. Oops, hammer this down and this down to get it more flat against the panel back here. And I think that, sh that should bring that a little bit closer to the brace, which it looks like it would. The only thing is I don't got much much material here to screw to. We'll have to we might have to move these screw holes to different places but I'm gonna give that a shot and uh, on the welder so put it the slow slow setting and I put it on max and see how that does with the thinner gauge wire and so if that doesn't doesn't improve it then try the minimum or max. So looks like we'll be using this welder a lot more. So this Hobart, I'll probably take it off the welding stand and put the Clark on there. That way it'll just be easier to roll around. But Mike uh, sent me some pictures. I was measuring from down at the bottom to here and he was measuring from the bend here down so i'm going to remeasure these and see what they are his is his is a 17 inches which i think mine mine might be kind of close but we'll see well you can tell but that's about 16 and a half I'm gonna go measure the other side right quick. So yeah, the driver's side, 17 inches exactly. So that means we have a problem. You just put a level on this and looks like this is pretty level. It's pretty consistent. So, I was wondering if that brace is wonky. I think I'm going to take, take these pans out and uh, just, uh, let's take them out first and see where we're at.
think I may have figured out what the problem is. This uh, brace here, you can see the welds broke here and the welds broke over there. So it's free to move up and down. Now if I clamp it together where the holes line up and everything else, I put the floor, I know this will be raised up a little bit, but look what happens to it. It becomes level. Same right there too, almost perfectly level. And then this, and that brace is level. And that brace is almost level. Could come down some, but I'm thinking that looks pretty good all the way up through there. I have an issue right in here. Might have to take some of that metal out, maybe on. I don't know. Or maybe I'll push it, make that gap work. And I think this is pretty good spacing here. I go around. Yeah, it could be a little bit brought in a little bit more. I'm thinking just like this brace kind of broke when I was messing with it. The welds here broke and it's free to move around. And that gap right there looks better too. So, my idea, I need to re-weld those uh, that crack up and I need to put the floor back in and get it level once I get it level because this needs to be raised up a little bit thinking that might throw my hole off because I don't got it right gauge metal in here so I may slip a piece of that yeah, I'll do that real quick, show you what I mean. Okay, I put a piece of that flange we cut off to represent you know, what the floor material will be. And got that where it's level. And it threw the, threw the hole off again, which it's not too concerning for me. So I have to trim this here anyways. And I can mark out these holes and get them cut where they need to be. So that's not, not too bad. Uh, let's see about the spacing. Spacing's okay. Looks a little wider over here. But I think I think that's what was wrong with it, was this brace here. Now I'm not gonna weld anything just yet. I need to put the pan back in there. And, uh, sorry about that. Hammer, hammer this part down some more and hammer through here to bring it closer into the body along here a little bit. And that should hopefully bring us closer to this brace here and make this more flat over here so I've got this big uh, gap. I'm debating on taking my you may not take my cutting wheel and cutting that straight off there. 
Anyways, I'm gonna undo all this, start hammering this, not to finish it, but just to get it pushed in there. Cause I need this to be secure before we do the finishing, hammering on that, getting that fit right. But I'm okay, I'm okay with this. Once we get it, we'll just have to mark out and recut these and make this a little bit bigger. But pretty excited. And I asked him about this, where I'm kind of got holes in there. He told me to come along the back side and kind of hit those again with some weld. Set on the settings he told me and then just get like a buffing wheel and knock those down. So don't use a, like a grinder per se, but, but just something that'll take it down slowly. So we'll uh, do that too here next, next couple of videos. And I wanna get, get that mess cleaned up too. So we'll work in here a little bit, get that straightened out. This in here, I just, of course, my holes for the, uh, I forgot what it was. It was a hole. Oh. Anyways, if y'all have Bronco, you know what I mean. We'll have to re drill them. And this should be fairly decent. Uh, have to see the spacing on this. This may need to come in just a tad. Yeah, that's about getting close. But we'll get that uh, get that situated. But I really think this brace, the welds broke as why is so bent. And I may try to re. Retack these a little bit better. I can see a little bit of crack there. But anyways, let's uh, put the pan back in and start hammering a little bit. I don't know how these phantom cuts happen. Apparently I nicked myself somewhere. I got the pan in and now we're gonna hammer a little bit in that top corner. I would say that that was uh, quite successful. We uh, closed that gap up really nice. I know this looks pretty bad through here, but I'm gonna run on it, so I mean, you shouldn't be able to tell too terrible bad. I think I might need to do a little bit more in here. Flatten that out some. But right through here is really good, and it brought in the uh, Brace. I can't stick my finger through it anymore. I think it's close enough now. I could probably put a self tapping screw in it. And uh, I do think it's on a ridge. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, so. But yeah, 
That worked out quite, quite nice. I had to shut the door because the wife was putting the little one to bed or putting her down for a nap. And that hammering gets kind of, kind of loud. But uh, I think, I think we're getting pretty good, pretty close. I'm really happy. I'm glad, uh, glad he came over and told me because he's, he's had some experience with body work and such, but uh, yeah, it closed up uh, that, the template I made that I was gonna put in there, it closed that up really nice and it's more uh, flat to the, actually tunnel and the cowl. And it brought it down far enough where I can actually attach it to that brace. So I think we're doing pretty good. And I think we've solved our issue with the uh, rocker and kick panel not fitting. Uh, the kick panel is just a little bit longer than the original, which that's that's fine. Uh, it doesn't bu bu bug me that much. We'll, we'll cut the end, end of it off flush with the uh, inner rocker. We'll have to cut the holes uh, on the inner rocker to fit the kick panel. But I just need to make sure the kick panel is where it needs to be for sure before I start doing that. But the welds on the brace... I don't know, after years, I guess, up and down, moving around, they just broke. And for some reason, when they broke it, shifted it up. So the front brace is a little bit higher than the back. And that's why the, kick, the inner rocker wasn't fitting where it needs to be. But uh, I think I'm going to bring it down like how I had it before, with just that little piece of metal in there to simulate the pan. And clean the welds up that are on there already. Retack those and uh, I retack this other brace too to make sure it's just stable. And then we can start uh, prepping the floor a little bit better. I need to do a little bit more finish hammering on that to get it exactly where I where I want it. So I need to come down come down the tunnel and uh, hammer it in, in in the tunnel a little bit better. But uh, anyways. Uh, Pretty excited with what we accomplished today. I think we're looking good to maybe have it ready to weld by the end of this month. I just need to double check, triple check the measurements every which way. Uh, you know, fit the door again. But uh, anyways, just want to thank everybody for their help. And uh, I did something last night that was nerve wracking, but uh, I shared my page on my social Facebook, personal Facebook, and uh, I was happy about the support I received from it. Uh, if I gain anybody from there, thank you very much. It does mean a lot and it really helps the channel out, just watching my videos. But I did make a Facebook page specifically for this channel. I'll have a link in the description to it. Uh, you probably catch me on there a lot more easier. Like, uh, just talking general projects, Bronco stuff is easier to get in contact over that than it is on YouTube. Anyways, that link's in the description. I'm going to put my buddy's link back down there. He uh, uploaded a second video uh, if you want to. It's about homesteading and he has a lot of livestock and he likes to hunt and everything. Check him out. He started his channel the day before yesterday. So, uh, anyways. So for this, uh, super happy. We got a lot to do still, but uh, at least we're actually got a direction we're going now. Uh, again, thank you for all the help and all the email and pictures and measurements. Uh, that's going to come in handy here, here pretty quick, hopefully. And uh, I guess uh, yeah, next time we'll keep on, keep on working. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the brace. If I'm thinking about that right or or what. But when I pulled it down, it, it was actually level, and before it was way off. So uh, that's what I'm going looking at right now. But anyways, uh, if you like what you see, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually something on Bronco. And today we took the Camaro out with my daughter. Anyways, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll be posting three times a week until we get Bronco done and start on another one. Like I said, I got a Healy 
and two trucks back there and the Camaro that needs a lot of attention. So we've got plenty of projects to keep us busy for a while. But, uh, and two, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. I think yesterday I was at 160-ish and now I'm close to 170. So that's a, a really good gain for my channel. Uh, and uh, again, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. It does mean a lot. And I will see you on the next.